Jason, look at the size of that. We are out here on the mouth of the Columbia River. Beautiful. Ah, yeah. Sweet. Okay, I like it. Left a touch. Okay, it's all your report. Just drop it at your feet. Okay. Grab one side of the cage. Up and in. Set right there. Those were both good big enough? Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, that's good. There's no bottom up there. Okay, hold. Quick press. That's definitely good. Scoop him, Jay. Okay. Bring the rod handle straight up, straight up, uh, high. Ah. Keeper. Both sides. Yep. yep. It bleeds them out. Oh, really? Yep. You don't want that blood in the, in the meat. In the meat. I just ripped the whole head off. The one for my mother-in-law. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice job. Yeah, first Thanks, fish. Sir. First fish. Good job. Thanks. Good job. How y'all like it? Thanks for another first time. Okay. Probably. 16. Woo! That's 16 inches. <laughs> it's cool. Thank you. Yep. I, I watched and I saw it kind of. Yeah, it, it, it tripped the diver. Okay, which one? Keep your tip out. A lot of current too, so. Nice and easy. Yeah, Keep your tip down. Like Bring him on up. He doesn't even know he's here yet. Okay, you want to step back half a step. Oh, okay. Oh, a rainbow. A rainbow. <laughs> Okay, you want to back up? Bring him in. Also, you call it a jack, right? A jack. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. You still got him? It looks like it. Oh. Real? 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 Get Keep reeling. Yeah. He's got to go back in the water. Go ahead and grab him and throw him in. Jason, look at the size of that. He's got to get in the water right away. Yes, sir. Yep. There you go. There we go. Tip up. He's got fish on him. Foot pole. He's still there. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Oh, man, that's good size. That's good size. Yeah. Dude, good size. Don't move, don't move. Okay. <laughs> so we got some grapes here uh, in the little garden. We've got a couple more months left. So we got our own rosemary here in our backyard. 
So we'll be using some Old Bay seasoning, pepper, salt, can't go wrong, with adobo. So these are the silvers that we just caught. So I'm gonna cut them up. All right, we're sitting right about 450 at times. It's hovering between four to 500 degrees, kind of like right where we want it. All right, so we want to get that good aroma. Gotta be very delicate. So once they kind of get crispy, the skin's a little bit more crispy, I like to put it right onto the grill for just a little bit, just to get those lines. That, that mesquite is really going. This is really hot now. So we're gonna take this one off. This in right here. It's buttery, smoky. Mm. So the reason for my base layer of the adobo, that salt and the pepper, is so that when the butter gets into the skin and it caramelizes it and it makes it look like this, as you bite into the skin, you get that taste of the adobo and you get the taste of the pepper. Get rid of some of the older rosemary that's in there. Douse these with some olive oil. This is Dungeness crab. We caught about 20, about 30 crab. Last but not least, butter. 